Good morning, children. I hope you all have had a wonderful weekend. And, and I hope you have done your meanings. We are going very, very slowly. But I feel many of you have not bothered to read and uh, do the meanings. Please, if you can show me in school, whatever I give you, you please come to school and show it to me. Please, because children coming to school are showing me and I'm correcting. So when I'm doing my recorded lesson, I, after that, I can stay back and do your corrections. So please, children, we are going very, very slowly, but please uh, do your work. Now, we have started chapter one. We had done a poem before this so that it was short and easy for you all. But now we are going to do going on an adventure, which I've already started, page 11. Now we are going to page 12. Now we have, I mean, they've introduced us to a man called Don Quixote. As before I told you, Q-U-I-X-O-T-E is not Don Quixote. It is Q or T. X is silent. You don't say the word. Now, and then, of course, they've been telling us what a funny man he is. He likes to read. I mean, sometimes, you know, like he reads in the on, whole through the day and the night. And he forgets what he's doing also. Like he forgets to eat. He forgets his friends. Everything he forgets. So we are going to continue about him. Now page 12, uh, second paragraph. Now what kind of books do you suppose he read? I've already told you about, the, about his reading habit. Now we here are thinking, what type of books uh, did he read? Now children, there is one thing very much that we tell you, please read, please read. But some of you don't even read your lessons what are you going to read storybooks? It is necessary to read storybooks as you improve your English. Now, why do we come to school? We come to school to educate ourselves. But one thing, children, we also come to learn proper English. And I think with this pandemic of last year and a bit this year, we are not uh, reading. Not at all. In fact, some of you don't even read this, uh, your lessons. So it's really necessary to improve your English, you must read. He read no history, no books of travel. Now many people love to read uh, history books or travel books, but he did not read. He cared nothing for poetry or philosophy, he did not read poetry. There are many people who love to read poetry, write poetry, but he did not. No philosophical books. His old mind was given to stories, like he likes stories, you know, stories of knights. Like I've explained to you about knights. Knights are brave people, you know, they are warriors who were given the rank of noble men. And now we don't have knights. Now you have doctors and you say sir and all, but those were them. He read so many of these stories that he could think of nothing else. His head was full of knights, knightly deeds of magic, witchcraft, of tournaments. Tournaments, so you know what they are. Like you have tournaments, your football tournament, your taekwondo tournament, your so many other tournaments you have. At length, this old-fashioned gentleman said to himself, why should I be a farmer? I don't want to be a farmer. And sit here at home. Now farmers, of course, are the ones who give us um, food to eat. Without the farmers, we won't be alive in this place. Why may I not become a famous knight? He didn't want to be a farmer. He wanted to become a famous, world famous knight, a warrior. The more he thought about this matter, the more he wished to be a hero. And he wanted to be a hero. He had read many books. Like nowadays children, I've noticed many children, they watch movies. So when you watch movies, you have these heroes and heroines. Many girls also like to dress up like the heroines and behave like them. Even the boys, 
they want to be heroes like Shah Rukh Khan and Salman Khan, isn't it? So that is what. So he also wanted to be a hero. Like, but in the books, sir, not this filmy heroes. He wanted to be like those who are in the books, like some famous, uh, like um, man who had fought many battles or who had got rid of the enemy, like that. Yes, I will be a knight, he said. I am going to be a knight. Not knight, not N-I-G-H-T. Have you understood? N-I-G-H-T means night, dark, morning, night. He wanted to be a K-N-I-G-H-T. Now, I am not saying knight. Like over here we say K. N-I-G-H-T, like that. Now over here we don't say knight, we say knight. Like in Don Quixote, we don't say Don Quixote, we say Don Quixote. Because in Don Quixote, X is silent. It is silent, like your, over here, K is silent. So that way it is called night, but not the night that comes after evening. So my mind is fully made up. I will arm myself in a coat of mail. Now children, if you look at the book, if you look at the book, you can see a picture of a man and he's wearing this, uh, not a uniform, like when you come to school, you wear a uniform, but he is wearing, it's made of steel, it's heavy. Uh, look at your books, children. I hope you can see that picture. He is wearing, uh, it's not a uh, topi or a hat. It's made of iron and then he's wearing this on his body. So that, now why do you think he's wearing a steel armor on his body and he's carrying a huge sword? Because he feels that when he goes to fight, those days they fought with swords and uh, all this so that when somebody hits him with the sword it will not hit him because he's wearing that shield from top to toe he's wearing that shield so i will mount now coat of mail if you see the word bank you will see coat of mail means a jacket made of metal rings or plates. It is made of metal and it must be very heavy. Have you understood? Nowadays, of course, now you have this bulletproof vest. You have different type of things to uh, wear when you fight. But those days, they used to wear this coat of mail. I will mount my noble steed. Now, what is a noble steed? Noble steed is his horse. You know, those days again, it is like of long time ago. Now when people go to fight, they don't go much on horses. You must have seen movies long time ago, uh, or even this Hindi movies that you see. When they go to fight, they go on their horses and they fight. Have you understood? They don't have guns and all this modern ammunition. They have so... But he, those days, people used to go and fight on their horses. Very bad for the horses also, because the horses would get um, uh, injured, they would die. So now they have all these tanks and all types of, uh, uh, like, I can't say cars, but huge tanks where people, which is fitted with guns, and then you, you know, get into that, you fight with them. I will ride out in the world to seek adventures. He said, I will ride. I mean, imagine, yeah, those days just go riding so far to seek adventures. No danger shall frighten me. With my strong arm, I will go forth. Means I will go in the front to protect the weak. Weak is people who are very scared and very thin, can't do anything. And to be friend, to become friend with people who don't have 
friends, friendless. Now, children, I think in school when you come, everybody has a friend, isn't it? Everybody has a friend. I mean, and even if there's somebody who doesn't have a friend, I mean, you must go ahead and see that you become their friend. Have you understood? So we are lucky that nowadays we have a lot of friends. Yes, I will be a knight and I will fight against error. Error means any mistake, anything going wrong. He says, I will go. I mean, he was a very funny sort of a man. He did what he wanted to do. He did it alone. He was not bothered about anybody, even though people laughed at him and made fun of him. So now page 13 I'm reading. So he began at once to get ready for his undertaking. Now if you see undertaking, it is in the word bank. It is undertaking means an important or difficult task. Means now I'm going to like, suppose like some of you come to school, many of you come, some of you don't even bother to do your work, you know, and you say, oh, I'm not going to do it. But this man, he made up his mind. He said, no, I am going to do. Whatever I have said, I'm going to do. And it is not an undertaking means to do an important or a difficult task from his store. Now you have a storeroom. At home also we have different rooms. And in one room we keep everything. We might keep our rations. We might keep everything that we don't need every day. You know, when we uh, want something every day, we keep it within reach. But there are some things which, like even the school has a storeroom. Suppose you have some concert going on. We go to the storeroom and the storeroom is filled with things from our, I mean, which we need. He fished. Now, he didn't fish like this. You know what fishing is, no? You go to the river and then you catch a fish. Fish is to take out also. So he took out some rusty armor. Rusty. You know, have you seen nails? You know, sometimes when you don't use those nails, they become rusty. Armor. Armor is that thing I told you about. You know, in the picture I showed you, I told you, see the picture he's wearing that. It's like a shield. A broken helmet. Now the helmet was broken because he had not used it for so long. And a crooked lance. Now, what is a lance? It's a weapon with a long handle. You can see it in the picture. Um, it is a weapon with a long handle and with a pointed end. Like you can see it over here. It is. It has got a long handle and it is pointed. Of course, because I think this one is very old, so it's all uh, rusty and broken. <coughs> And he started thinking. He thought if he could find as good a name for himself, he would feel like riding out and beginning his adventures at once. For what more could he need? So he was happy. He said, now I've got my armor, I've got my horse, I've got a lance, and now I'm going to go out in the world to fight everybody. Now, it's a very simple lesson. You just have to read and understand and find out the meanings. Half the meanings are given in the word bank. The other half, you have to find it. And children, I just get a very, uh, very few children doing it, but the others are not bothered. And you know your English is not very strong. It's weak. I know it's weak. So you better do your work. So today, we'll do till... Page 13, uh, for what more could he need? Till they will do today, please go home, relax. If you don't understand, please either call me or ask me, what is it? What is your problem? You have to improve your writing and your reading. Some of you don't know how to write your writing. Many have nothing to do. I think the least you can do is do a page of writing. Children, very, very important. So, good morning, children. And please listen to what I've been saying and follow all the instructions. Have you understood?
Thank you, children.